day. From Bill Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's week eight of the NFL on EA Sports. Buffalo Bills versus Mason Rudolph and the New England Patriots. From the home of the Bills since 1973, we are at Bills Stadium just south of downtown Buffalo, New York. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what... And we are underway in Buffalo. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by the reigning Super Bowl MVP in his fourth year now. It's Patrick Mahomes. And what a performance in his last game. A couple of touchdown passes. That was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he hangs his hat on after last week's game. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he connects with Vance McDonald. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Patriots take over. So here come the Patriots getting ready on offense. As we take a peek at the Oklahoma State product, their quarterback, Mason Rudolph. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it, but the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. On first and 10, Rudolph. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Bills have recovered. Fumble on the play. The defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. 
Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They come up first and 10 at the 16. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They get 7 there, but it brings up 4th. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Makes this score Bills three, Patriots nothing. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> And they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive with a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Brings up second and five at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the gun, Rudolph. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 31 yards there and a first down. They only needed a couple, but the blocking was good. And, of course, you can't tamp him down when he gets past that line of scrimmage. No, and guess what? Not only were they physical at the point of attack, they executed so well. That's what you have to do in short yardage situations. Everyone has to be in the right spot taking on a defender to give him the chance that they did, and he took full advantage of it. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple Cordero down inside the 35 to the 34. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped. And that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. So that'll back him up five. Still third down. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Here's Rudolph. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. 
And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Rudolph, and nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away at second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. From the gun, here's Rudolph. That is caught by Williams for a Patriots touchdown. Complete to Mike Williams. Mike Williams, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots have taken the lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. In racing, going three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom, indeed. Point after here, coming up. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken about seven yards deep, and no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the shotgun, to give to Jones. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. He was brought down by maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And 12. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he fires one, but incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Last week, a strong showing up over 100, also two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. Well, let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Rudolph. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. 
And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. On first down, it's Rudolph. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Miles Garrett, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Rudolph, this one caught by Davis. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. New England on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and six. Open man is Samuel, complete. Rudolph. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Just does beat the play clock. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback. But as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. He was brought down by Neville Hewitt. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. Mahomes. It's a gain of seven, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop. A man down on the return. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They begin with a run by Davis, and he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. One-yard gain brings up second and nine. They'll run with Davis, and he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. A gain of four, and it's... They'll fake it. Now Rudolph. Got his target, Samuel. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. First down, New England. On the carry, it's Davis. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. 
From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 26-yard line. Rudolph. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. Davis, he'll try to run for it. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Davis, the ball. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Von Miller, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. That was their third sack of the ball game, second in the league in sacks coming into this one. They're planning on making it a race to the top, aren't they? Absolutely. They're looking up at that top spot, but they might be looking down at the second spot pretty soon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. On the run, it's Davis. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Back to throw, Rudolph. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Makes it second and 10. Mahomes again here on second and 10. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And that will come the offense as they take over. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. A final shot before the break, Rudolph. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season.
Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, not a lot of offense to go around. 7-3 is our score. Will we see things open up in the second half? To find out, we get it back to our guys in the booth, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone, and Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. So here are the Patriots to take over. Last week, they got the victory against the San Francisco 49ers. They've got the lead in this one as well right now. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven now from the 28. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down carry for Davis. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Davis, the ball Tackle carry. there by Leighton Vander Esch. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Three brings up second and seven. Rudolph now to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. the shotgun they'll run with Davis and he's going to be stopped up at about the 47 yard line two yards on the pickup there it'll be second and eight two yards on the pickup it's second and eight at the Bills 47 yard line going to set him back five yards. Still second down. On second down, here's Rudolph. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. Rudolph's back. Call it a gain of five. And they're going to face a third down. Five yards on the play. And it's third down. Out of the gun, Rudolph. And he finds Cook. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Jared Cook, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Bills three. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Danny Amendola on the return. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. 
So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First and 10 at the 40. Throwing on first down is Mahomes to Evans on the slant. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Yard line. Now Jones. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. A gain of three brings up second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Mike Evans. It's 11th touchdown of the year. And the Bills draw a bit closer. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. Throwing now is Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. is no good. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though. Defensively, they were ready. Tucker down to kick it away following the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. 25 yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. From the gun, here's Rudolph. Throw right side complete to Williams. 
And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Davis. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. Second and five now, Rudolph. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. Byron Jones on the coverage. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. Rudolph's and he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. It's Davis, and not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. He's brought down. One blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Third and two, Rudolph. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it with Davis. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Give him three on the game there. Second and goal. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. They'll try to punch it in with Davis. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Mike Davis, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. on for the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. 
And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, and the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. The Bills on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and eight. Third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Patrick Mahomes sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. He'll let this go deep. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Now you're at the point in the game right now where you got to start taking some chances, and that chance paid off. And it's a good idea to be that aggressive because, truthfully, the defensive guys, they're just playing not to make a mistake. That often means you can make a big play against them. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's got this down to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Cortland Sutton, first-time Pro Bowler. He was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Now Jones. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Aaron Jones, the ball. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Mahomes now to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them.
And this is one of those bang, bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Here's Davis. He'll try and run some clock. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. A shotgun handoff to Patterson, and he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's had quite the turnaround, Charles, at the start of the game. Passing game was a little bit of a mess, but he's back on the horse, so to speak. Love seeing how someone can rebound from a slow start or a tough start. It means that they're strong mentally. They've kind of calmed themselves down. Everyone's rallied around them. Maybe they even changed game planning a little bit in order to make things better for him. You know, pass complete here to Sanders. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And that will be incomplete. Normally being a big body receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. And this one incomplete. Intended so the clock stopped now with 20 position. seconds remaining. It leads to second and 10. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. And again, it's Mahomes. Got a man. He finds Sanders. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.